Hello there, welcome to the channel and thanks for joining me. So, I bought myself a Logitech steering wheel and I'm just going to give it a bit of a, a trial out on this game. I haven't played this truck logistics since the update. So we've got new wheels that light up when you brake and we should have better suspension. Um, hopefully I'm not too terrible with the wheel, so let's pick a job and see how we get on. It's been a while, so I'm just trying to remember the controls. <laughs> um, they're quite short journeys, aren't they? They're not long, so we can do a few of them today, I suppose. The steering definitely feels better at playing this game than a controller. It feels a bit more like a simulator and not an arcade. back up a bit, I sort of overshot that one. I'm actually going to try and, when we get to the drop off point, I'm actually going to try and back up, stand in first person view as well. So that might be a challenge or a bit of a laugh. I'm going to give this uh, a Vivo a drive. I suppose it's like a very, very knockoff. Um, normally I just drive the Scania's a man's, but it's something different, isn't it? So I thought I'd give this a bash. Notice there is a reversing camera, so I'm not sure if that is new. I don't remember it, or if it's part of the update. It's probably um, not really practical when you've got a trader on it, is it? I'm going the wrong way, so let's make our way back to the main road. Yeah, so far the verdict, 
verdicts is I do I think it's better playing this truck and logistics with a steering wheel than it is with a controller. Definitely more simulation y, yes. How has everyone's bank holiday been? Have you done anything interesting or just stayed in and had a chilled one? Yep, I'm definitely on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> Let's move over. That's the only problem with the wheel, is like if you want to look around you need to use a controller and then try and level yourself up. This one was pretty quick wasn't it, so it should be around here somewhere. actually think I may have drove past it so we can just uh, go around the block and then try and go back in there little bit of a post there, we have to get a bit more swing round to make it. These roads are really tight aren't they? I forgot how um, tight they are. So I'm guessing it should be on the left around here. Looks like that's the entrance there. Isn't it? Let's see if we can get in this way. No, I don't think we're going to do it. There's a fence there, so I think what we can do is I can back up and then swing round in that car park and then come in that way so let's give that a go I could probably go right here as well inside there but let's do it this way
it's going to be quite tight here there's a post just on the outside of it but we can have a go might as well have a go at backing in it's all practice makes perfect as they say let's see if we can do it Definitely going to be a bit tight with the uh, lamp post. We should be all right though. Looks like yep, and we're done. Might as well um, go check, do another one while we're here. Then how close were we to the post? Yeah, it's pretty close, isn't it? I'm going to use a controller to load the truck up. It's just a lot easier, I think. And go back to the wheel when we're driving. Now when you load these trucks you don't have to go all the way in like I have here, you can normally just um, drop it just in the truck and it should move to the front on its own, I'll show you an example in a minute, I'll just put this one in. So if you want to, all you need to do is just drive just past the doors, drop it down and it should like a conveyor belt, it should auto go to its position, like that. You could do that with everyone really and it just sort of do itself. If you would like to see more on the channel, do let me know in the comments. I guess we could organise a convoy or something like that. Or I could just do more videos if you want.
just have a look at this new suspension. You can see it just bounces more around like jelly. Oh, trying to uh, find the button on the steering wheel to change view. Get a bit of speed and then uh, grab a guy at braking, see if we can get the uh, brake discs heated up. Yep, that's done working, just see them glow a bit orange.
So just be around the corner now. Let's see where we've got to park this one. I think we can squeeze one more in. We do something different and change truck. Change truck, I skipped the load in, but I totally forgot that I didn't press record, so we just start here. We're not going to get as much money because I skipped the, uh, the load in, but it shouldn't matter. So we are driving just a dump truck with the uh, trailer on it I have got a, another Alaskan road trucker video out, um, just need to edit it, that was before the update come, I have a go at backing in as well on that one, and I might visit on the road again at some point, try that with the wheel. AI still needs fixing in this game then. <laughs>
looks like they're going through a farm. I'm guessing there's a construction site around here. to go. I think I might have gone past it, we can go back round. it's an entrance is it it just must be um like a little drop off is it let's have a look yeah it looks like we need to back both trailers in there and uh, drop off the rocks that's not a problem Yeah, we should have enough room to uh, get a rubber trailer in there. We can just back in um, right next to it. If you did enjoy the video, please comment, like and subscribe. It really does help. I think all we need to do now is get as close to this trailer as we can. Yeah, we can uh, pull up a bit forward and then get a bit more tighter in. Should be fine. We shouldn't get much payment because uh, I skipped the loading. Yeah, so we lost 18 XP. Anyway, that's all fully done. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.